Hello, welcome to the channel. I need to get these boxes that are sort of itty bitty and half filled screwed down into boxes that have. I'm basically trying to reduce the boxes that I have ready for the move. And I've got a few little sales to pack as well. This is such a shit angle. The more I look at this place, the more it's daunting. But I know if I chip away little by little, just look. Like there is just no rhyme or reason. Things have been taken off shelves and put onto floors and walkways are all just blocked in. I'm stumbling over things to get to stuff. But like I said, little by little by little by little, everything's gonna be okay. So for example, box four has three items in it. So I'm gonna go over to my MacBook, which is down here, which you can't see. There you go. I'm gonna go over to my MacBook, find these items and change the screw to box M, which I'm gonna start filling up. That makes sense? So then I can get rid of box four and so on and so on until box M is filled and hopefully I'll be able to condense a few boxes there and then just move on to the next one. You know what I mean, you know what, you know what I mean. Now I'll show you how easy it is. So there's my box four, just edit box M because that's where it's going, done. Same again, I've already done the top one. And there we go, those four items can now just go into here and then box four is done with. Whether you're moving offices or not, I think it's good practice every now and then, once every few months, every six months, at least every year, at least go through your boxes, see which ones are like, just got scraps in them and just screw them down. Put them into boxes and fill the other boxes up. I don't know. I just think that's good practice. It really helps with inventory. Like I know I'm not teaching you anything new, just, just a reminder, just a gentle reminder. At the risk of overcrowding this box, we're gonna leave this one for now, but look what I've just pulled off the shelves. One, two, three, four boxes that are all empty, all into one, because they all have like just little bits and pieces at the bottom. Now, like I said, I'm doing this because I'm moving, so I'm trying to make my move and my reorganization as easy as possible. But I tend to do this once every three to six months, regardless. It's amazing what just hangs around in little boxes, just slithers. Quick little update. <laughs> so I've only just started really, and this is how many empty boxes I've got. I've been doing this for like 15 minutes since the last clip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine empty boxes now, because they all have just little bits in, condensed into a, another box. And I haven't even finished yet. So the plan today is to try and get this shelf here clear, so I can take that home, move all that across. I've got to do some packing as well. I've had a few sales that I'm gonna go through in just a moment as well. I'm just getting all the boring stuff out of the way first. But yeah, making some good progress. Some good progress regarding the down screwing. Screw, such a funny word, isn't it? We're ready to get another shelf down, I think. Same again, I want to try and keep this ladder section in one piece. Just to make it easier when I get back to the garage. Uh, we are going to have beef. Me and the shelf are about to have Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef right now. By the way, I have found so many items that have just fallen off my store. You know what? These can just go out in halves. Not pissing around today. And there we have it, one more shelf down. What's up, brother? So little by little by little by little, I've reduced some boxes and I've reduced the shelf. Let's get into some sales. I've no way of getting through. I've blocked myself off completely. This is what I don't want to happen. This is why I'm trying to sort it out little by little by little right now. So that once I get into the garage, I haven't got to live like this. Does that make sense? I'll just get it set up perfectly as I want, as I'm going along. I love a killing spree documentary. I am roasting again. Look at me, I'm all weathered. But I'm not gonna ship off naked this time because I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be here long. 
Just gonna get these few done and then go from there. The Panasonic I've got that I need to pick up from yesterday. So I'll do that quickly and then I'll come straight back to your babies. Oh God. I've already done two, but I'm gonna do the other two in the same process. Just taking the bubble wrap, keeping it tight. One in the front, two in the front. And that's it. And then I'm gonna find a nice little box for them. But well, that last box was just the wrong size, so that to go for another. I'm gonna have to double box it because this one's just a little bit too small. So this will give it a bit more height and a bit more protection. I can't wait to get out of this room. It's honestly like somebody's got the radiator on. It's ridiculous. It's like a greenhouse. Low noise. So I had a few people actually yesterday on my last video laughing about the low noise thing, but reminded me about some other comments. This is not a dig either at your comments. This is me just stating I had considered these things first. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a complete moron, a complete moron. So people were saying to me, why don't you just get skip? Would have been cheaper, would have been easier, would have been blah, blah, blah. No, it wouldn't have. So for me to get a skip that I need, this size, it's nearly 400 pound, yeah? And to even add the surcharges of £30, I think, some average 25 some average of 20 but this one was £30. I had three mattresses, so there's another £90 on top. So that's, 410, that's 490 plus VAT is to be added on top of that as well. So not only would it have been more expensive, and the skip might not have even been big enough. You can see the comparison next to the car. I had a fuckloads. So not only would I have paid... A minimum of 100 and what's plus VAT, so 50, 100, maybe another 150, 160 pound, give or take. So 560 odd. Bear in mind, I paid 400. I'd have had to load it myself. There's another, there's more, there's more time and energy gone there. And then I'd have had to have that sitting on my driveway for however long, plus probably some extra because there's no way I would have filled it in, that's in, a, in an 11 yard skip, 12 yard skip. So I'd considered all these things. And a few people saying to me, why didn't you go to the tip and sort it yourself? I can only fit so much in my Vectra. My tip is in the next one, two, three, four towns away. It's about eight to 12 miles, give or take. I probably needed to do 50 or 60 trips. That's going to take days, time, petrol, effort. Listen, guys, I'd figured, I'd, I'd worked all this out myself before. This became the most time-worthy, financially viable option. I sat back, a man came in in one day, an hour and a half if that was all done by, filled it all up, took it all away, £400. So it was cheaper, I didn't have to do anything, and it was done quick. Come on, give your boy a little bit of credit. You've got to have some faith in me, really. you just got to have that faith. I can't even do any more packing. I'm just going to do this one and then get out of here because I'm, I'm roasting. I'm absolutely roasting. It's like a greenhouse, I can't cope. Oh shit, I just underpaid for something, bollocks. Ah oh, fuck, I wasn't concentrating. It's supposed to be two to five. Oh well, I'll get a bill for that soon. That is all I'm doing, I'm getting out of here, look. Look at me, glistening mess. It's a lot cooler in here. So let me just reiterate, I'm doing this move down in my boxes because I'm moving, but if you're a reseller, we all struggle with space. If you take a look at how many boxes you can condense down, you'll be surprised. I've just done 10, 10 boxes, 10. Think of the space that could save you. I'm just gonna have a quick little browse. Hello. Hiya. How are you? I'm good. All right. Hello, hello. Do, 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 do. Standard. Hey, just dropping everything. Today. Yeah, I'm alright apart from just dropping my life everywhere. Scattering it around all the shit, all the floors. Oh, that's all, that's all right. Yeah, if I, if I drop it and lose it, you just find it and put a price ticket on yeah, that. Yeah, we will do that. Don't worry, it'll be looked 
good bits of kit these are. So how long have you been here, here then? Just, you literally just? Just a couple of weeks basically, yeah. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. I spent too much time in there and not enough money. But I did pick up some good bits. A bath bomb for Ada because she loves a fizzing bath. Starbucks cup, 75p. I don't know the exact value, but there's got to be a teller in that, surely. Has to be. Doesn't feel like one of their really strong ones, but... Maybe a tenner. Maybe I have to hold on to that till Christmas. Who knows? A uh, Fitbit, which I've got charging. I think it's a genuine Fitbit. I'm not too sure, but it was £4.50. Again, there's an easy double up there on Vinted. And some sea salt wedge shoes. People keep messaging me. For £6.50. Probably £19.99, £24.99, something like that. Because they're in fantastic, almost immaculate condition. But £12.50 in total. Something like that. £12.50, so I'll get 10 20 30 40 40 quid back i'm gonna try and vintage everything i'm just gonna take five minutes i think enjoy a nice cold one diet coke you're hard before i go and put that shelf up because it's hot in there as well but it's not i can't tell you how hot that office is it is ridiculous it's honestly like a fucking aquarium just without the water is it a vivarium i think i'm talking about who knows down, 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 down. Well, we've cut forward now, like, for four hours, five hours since. I've just come into the car because I need to go and get my daughter from school. And the fucking cup has turned red. It must be a colour changer. Like, was it red before? I don't think so. I need to check the edit. But I'm pretty sure this has changed colour. I'm pretty sure this was black before or grey. But how smart is that? I'm going to go get my daughter. One thing that I am 100% going to have to do once I get in here properly is add some more light, probably run some extender strips across just to really flood this place because it does get dark in here if you haven't got light and that light isn't the best. I don't just mean for taking pictures, I mean for filming when I'm doing my YouTube videos and things as well. The last office, as you can tell, the lighting is just, well, perfect. When I bought these ones, I bought them specifically because they've got little connections on the end where you can actually buy another one and extend it and extend it and extend it. So I'll probably bring one out, bring one round. We might get five or six more and just run them out like a big circle on the roof ceiling. I'm not moving again now unless it's for a multi-million pound future or something like that. I moved for the consignment because I wasn't able to absorb it in this place. So it was, it was the right move at the right time. But I'm not going to move again now unless I've got something solid in place and the place is just perfect. Or in that time, we are looking to move in the next couple of years. So obviously that will all be factored into when we look at the new place as well. So who knows? Well, I'm going to crack on with this. I'm not going to waste your time. Again, I don't know what the video is going to be like, even if I'm going to release it. I really appreciate you dropping by and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Ta-da. I don't want to do it anymore. Yo, do it. Come on. Let's do it.